myself, along with some other artists, have been invited along to create artworks using the archaeological findings from the dig of the tunnels. A few months ago, bags of this material was delivered to the artists, and it's the remnants of material of significance that was collected and processed by archaeologists, and I'm processing them and refining them and turning them into ceramic glazes. When I pick them up, I'm noticing like all of the beautiful details in them. This piece just needs to be right there. Oh, it fits so well and it just makes something out of nothing. The fragment that I received from the Metro Tunnel Dig was a pickaxe. Uh, and from that, I decided to make a set of gardening tools. And with the gardening tools, I decided that it would be much nicer to do some gardening with someone else, so I made two sets. Being able to repurpose the resources we were given and then to be able to fuse it and recreate it is something that Indigenous people have been using for thousands of years. Something I've never seen before and I just think is uh, yeah, something that needs to be prized. So I guess I wanted to just bring into consciousness and bring into sight the little tiny details of Melbourne's history, these nails which have been holding together buildings from so, so long ago, who knows how long. I love their significance as a small detail that's been holding up Melbourne's history. So as part of the, the presentation of the project, we decided to digitally scan the archaeologist's handwriting and then Anna then went on to acid etch those into the brass. So the actual writing on each of the brass pieces is the exact handwriting of the archaeologist. I have to say the real thrill for us was being here this evening and talking to the geologists who we'd never met before and who recognised the handwriting of their colleagues in the etchings in the brass, which was truly the best bit of the whole thing. <laughs> I hope that people will look at these and find the beauty that all of us have found in something that I guess would have perhaps been named as rubbish and in the way that they sort of then come back together to become, yeah, something that could be treasured and that is something of beauty. Thank you.